Happy 4th of July, everybody. I hope you're doing wonderful. We're having a wonderful but hot 4th of July. And if you can see behind me, I have got the smoker going. And um, you guys asked about smoking paprika. So uh, I did that video for you, but I wanted to show you I'm doing it again this year. And here we go. I picked out mesquite and um, we have lump coal. Here, let me show you. See, we use the Cowboy brand lump coal and then just regular mesquite. And uh, I do wet that a little bit ahead of time. We got the coals going so nice and hot in there. Can you see that? I don't want to put the camera too far down. And then off to the side is all that smoky goodness going to the to the actual paprika peppers. I'm, I probably put about, I'm gonna say like 10-ish of them in there so anyhow i'm going to put that back down we open up the flue on top here so this smoke can escape yeah yeah and i think yeah there's a little bit coming out right there too i could actually close that since i got the big door open um so anyhow i'm what i'm doing is i'm just really waiting for the ribs uh i put them under a little bit of pressure and uh, that makes them really nice and, and tender and fall off the bone good. And they just get a little bit of that, just enough, you know, to break down the tendons and things, you know, whatever ribs got. And, um, and then they're gonna come out here when the, the peppers are just getting the smoke, really. They don't have to cook much. They're gonna dehydrate anyhow. I'm gonna grind them. But yeah, so next is, uh, we're gonna put the ribs out here and uh and i'm making i gotta whip up some fresh barbecue sauce uh, i'm gonna try something different i actually have the bottle kind you know that i like but um i like sweet baby rays and i like um sunny's sweet barbecue sauce but anyhow i, I got a new recipe from uh chef jean pierre who has a great youtube channel and he did ribs last week and he shows you how to make barbecue sauce from scratch so i'm gonna try that today and then we'll just be, you know, put it on there. So not too much has gone on since the last couple of videos. And um, it's just way too hot. In fact, if anything, the one main thing that we have been doing is either at stay at the airport or I've been over here on the new floaty. So, oh my goodness, the pool is so inviting. I really need to get in here today and just cool down my, my Gora and the cat whiskers and the knockout well the knockout roses are fading a little bit but they make such a beautiful view and then we put some bird feed in there the blue jays have found it and um so have the squirrels of course it took the squirrels a little while to actually find the bird feeder but so that's all we're doing today uh, we're gonna eat real good got lots of sides going on and the paprika peppers are smoking I, it just made me think I should probably pick up the camera and let you guys know that we are making this year's batch of smoked paprika right now. Ooh! And then we're going to follow it up with ribs. Well, thank you for joining me today for this short little video, but I wanted to say hi to you. And uh, I guess we'll be doing some projects next week. I really need to do stuff out here. <laughs> it's just too hot. Maybe when we're not at a 102 degree heat wave. So you guys have a great fourth and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.
Here's the paprika peppers that were out there. They, they barely got a little crispy on the edge, not really too much, but they're very soft and pliable. They still have a lot of moisture content in them, but they smell amazing. It was probably, probably close to hour they were out there. We are dehydrating them and putting them on some trays. Or a tray, maybe. Maybe just a single tray. No, because you know why? Because we got those other peppers, too. We're going to put them out here. Grind those. The banana peppers and Jimmy Nardell's. They'll be a different, like, pepper blend. But this will be my paprika blend. Here's the second layer. That's a banana pepper with some coloring to it. Jimmy Nardello. More bananas. And I am leaving the tops on these just, I guess I could pull them. Yeah, I'll just pull them. That way I don't have to try to do it later. That'll be a nice little blend to put into some, whatever meal I want to. Okay, we're gonna go up high, like 135 at least. Um, go 140. Uh, no, I guess we're going to just go temperature. Or time now. We just finished temperature. I'm, I'm going to guess at least nine hours. 